Oh, helmet here, looking to square out early and cut across the back of Guio. So through turn one, Geiser, just 17 years old, a lot of expectation on the shoulders of HRC, even though they won't admit it. That bike getting faster and faster every week, and the kit just showing no signs of pressure. Saw a tweet from uh, Ben Townley, BT 101, uh, recently saying this kid is the real deal. And, you know, 17 years old in this kind of company, he's, he's looking pretty good, isn't he? He is, and I think he's riding very confident. That's what uh, that's what you need. And, uh, you know, like Ben said, he's uh, he's got... He's got youth on his side so he's got a lot of experience to learn and, and he's running up here with these guys with that experience and look at him switching it and changing it you know we goes inside he goes outside he cuts to the outside he cuts back again look just staying through here takes him wide makes the pass stick not hanging around and uh, he'll defend the inside line here at the top of the hill well Guido pulls it right back but good to see these guys duking it out because uh, obviously with hurlings up front uh, already 10 and a half 11 seconds clear this is the, you know, the battle of the rest, isn't it? Fevre, he's also three seconds clear in second place. Boutron third, just here. And then we've got fourth, fifth and sixth, taking us right back to Jordi Tixier on that 911 Red Bull KTM. With Libra about two seconds further back, the first of the Rockstar Energy Suzuki is ahead of his teammate, Jamie Sierra. Charlie on the factory Yamaha is ninth. And Max Anstey on the bike at Cosworth Yamaha. He is in 10th on the 99 bike. Uh, Tonkov is 11th and Luke Steik in 12th place. So not capitalising on that good start. But again, not an easy racetrack to come to, is it, Todd? No, that's right. But look at these three battling. It's, it is awesome to see. And Tixier just sitting back there and he's just letting these guys oh. wear themselves out. And, uh, and he, I, I guess he's going to make a charge towards the end. But this is, this is cool race. There were some horrible holes there that Geis had just caught on the run up to that Nippon jump there. Just two, three big holes. Holds his progress ever so slightly. Tim Mattis there. The uh, team owner, team manager of uh, that standing construct team of the rider in the middle, 92 here, Valentin Guio. And Guio, he knows he's got his hands full. Looks like they're on the same two team, these two guys. But, oh, nicely blasting around the outside. Geiser, Geiser on the Honda. The guy that he's just passed in the same colour kit. He's on a KTM. And looking to pull it back as well. Guio is going to get squeezed down here, though. They were able to go single double through there yesterday, but you can see how it's changed, hard and slick, a lot of rocks, a lot of unpredictability on ground like this in that case. Yeah, and also it pushes you wide down the bottom, so I think the guys are just trying to wash off a little bit of speed and keep it tight up there just to so you're not taking the long way around. So after four laps, and it's starting to rain out on track, well, we said we might get a shower or two.